Hello grade 9 students, in this video we're going to continue our lesson about genetics part 4 for the week 27. So let's remember together what are the alleles. The alleles we have dominant allele which is the strong allele is the allele that can be expressed in the case of homozygote or pure or in the case of heterozygote or hybrid. That's why usually symbolized by a capital letter. The recessive allele, it's the weak allele. It's expressed only in the case of homozygotes, only in the case of pure. That's why it should be one weak with another one weak allele. So two weak alleles, they should be together. That's usually symbolized by a small letter. Genotype. Already we said that the genotype is the set of genes and their corresponding alleles. So the genotype, it's the uh, set of genes and corresponding alleles. So the genotype BB, for example, BG and GG and so on. And the tall, blue and so on. Okay, so this is the genotype. And then... What do we have? We have the phenotype. The phenotype is the set of observed traits and resulting from the expression of genotype. For example, the phenotype tall, short, blue, green, violet, blonde, and so on. While this is not an example, this is an example about the genotype. Let's move now to this important application. A male Drosophila having gray body this is the drosophila this is the fruit fly having gray body was crossed with a drosophila having black body so one of them is gray the other is a black so all the f1 they were gray so they were gray like one of the parents so what can you deduce from this cross so after crossing a male drosophila with a gray body with another female Drosophila having a black body, all that one they had gray, like one of the parents. So the gray allele is dominant over the black, which is recessive. What is the type of this cross? Here, the parents always they are pure. So here, the parents, gray and the black, they are pure. And they differ in only one trait. So whenever the parents are pure and they differ in only one trait, so this cross is called a monohybrid cross. Why? Because the parents are pure and they differ in only one trait, which is in this case, it's the color of the body. Designate by symbols each of the studied alleles. So you have to give symbols for each of the studied alleles. You have to say let, which one is the dominant, the gray. So let G capital be the symbol of the gray dominant allele over the black recessive allele. And second allele, the black, let B small be the symbol of the black recessive allele with respect to the gray dominant allele. Here you have to know the way how to write the symbols, how to give the symbols. You can study the way and you can change the trait according to the question. Part 4, they said perform the essential factorial analysis to verify the results of F1. First, let's solve together parts 1, 2, and 3. So part 1, since all F1, they are gray, like one of the parents, then the parents, they are pure, pay attention to this, and the gray allele is dominant over the black, which is recessive type of this cross it's a mono hybrid cross since the parents are pure and they differ in only one trait which is the color so mono hybrid cross keep it in your mind symbols let g capital be the symbol of the gray dominant allele over the black recessive allele and let b small be the symbol of the black recessive allele with respect to the gray dominant allele. Let's move to the 
factorial analysis. Steps of the factorial analysis, you have to keep them in your mind. Steps, first we have to write the phenotype of the parents. Second, the genotype of the parents. Third, the gametes and their percentage. And if you want, you can say gametes and the proportion as you want. And then you can move to the table of grass and finally to the table of results. Gametes, whether it's percentage or proportion, it depends on the question. If they want percentage, you have to work with percentage. If they want proportion, you want to work with proportion. So here, let's move to part four. Factorial analysis. Factorial analysis start first with the phenotype. So the phenotype of the parents. So first you have to write the phenotype, colon, male crossed with the female okay so what is the sim what is the male the male has a gray body so gray crossed with the female it has black then we move to the genotype the genotype we have to give the genotype of the parents but wait a minute the parents they are pure and the gray is dominant, so it's a G capital, G capital. And the black, it's recessive, so B small, B small. Then we move to the gametes. Gametes of symbol gamma. Then we have a GG. So what is the chance to have G? It's 100%. So you put it in the symbol of the male. There is a G and it's 100%. And here, the female, what is the chance to give B? We don't have other than B. So it's B and the chance is, or the percentage is 100%. Whatever, if I want to work with proportion, it should be 1. 1 over 1 or 1, it's the C. Then we move to the table of cross. Table of cross, or it's called the Punnett square. On the table of cross, I have to draw the table, so we're using a pencil and a ruler. And you have to divide it here first into male and female. And pay attention to put the right gametes for the male and female. Male, it has a G, only G, 100%. And the female, it has B as 100%. Okay, so G times B, it's a GB. And you don't start with B and the G since G is the dominant. 100 times 100 divided by 100, so it's 100%. So the table of result, which is the final step in the factorial analysis, table of result. We move to the table of result here. So table of result, let's draw it here. And it should be like this. This is the table of result. Here we have the genotype. And here we have the phenotype. So in the genotype, we have GB 100%. G is dominant. And the G is dominant. As we know before, the gray allele is expressed in both homozygous and heterozygous. So here it should be 100% gray. Therefore, results are verified. Since they ask you to verify the results. Therefore, results are verified. Now, let's move to part 5. So, in this part, when two F1 flies, they are crossed. The following F2 offspring are obtained. So, we have 12 gray, gray flies and 4 black flies. So, we cross two F1 individuals. So what do we call this cross? We cross F1 with itself. So we cross F1 with F1. So this is called self-cross. Part B, they said you have to calculate the percentage of the each phenotype. You have to calculate the percentage of the gray and you have to calculate the percentage of the black. And then you have to move to perform the essential factorial analysis to verify the results. First, we have what? We have to know what 
Now let's move to calculate the percentage. How to calculate the percentage? The general formula is percentage of x is equal to the x over the total times 100. What does this mean? This means that percentage of x, x can be the gray fly, or in this exercise, it can be also the black fly. It's the number of the gray, for example, over the total number. In this exercise, the total is equal to what? Total, we have four black and we have 12 gray. So four plus 12, so the total is 16. So if you wanna calculate the total number, it's a 12 plus four, it's equal to 16. So let's move step by step. First, we cross F1 with F1. So what do we go with this cross? It's called the self cross. The general formula, percentage of X is equal to X over the total times 100. Sure, this formula and the exercise, you don't have to write it. This is the general formula, but we have to calculate the total. 12 plus 4 equal to 16. Here, the calculation. Percentage of the gray, here the gray is the X instead of the formula. It's equal to the number of the gray over the total times 100. So number of the gray, it's a 12. Over the total, it's 16 times 100. So it's equal to 75%. So this is the percentage of the gray. Moving now to the percentage of the black. It's the number of the black over the total number times 100. So it's 4 over 16 times 100. So it's a 25%. And this is part B. Moving to perform the essential factorial analysis. And they said to verify. They become 75 and 25. So I want to verify the results. It's F1 crossed with the F1. F1, as we calculated in the first cross, they have the general type G, B. G capital, B small. They are heterozygous. So let's start step by step. First, let's write in the factor analysis the phenotype. Phenotype of the parents. So we have male cross female both male and female they are gray so gray is cross with the gray also we have to move to the genotype genotype the male has a gp crossed with the female also the gb both of them they are heterozygous and step number three we have the gametes of symbol gamma pay attention here here we have a g and b so here we have equal percentage so for g and b they are equal so we can put g we have a chance 50 percent and b small we have 50 percent and also in the female g we have a chance 50 percent and we have for the B chance of 50%. So here we have to pay attention to this since we have to put the symbols with their percentage. Here we are working with percentage. Next, for part six, I want to solve the same exercise but with proportion, with ratio. Moving for the table of cross. Table of cross. Or what is called by the Punnett square. In the table of cross, what do we have? We have to draw the table, sure, using a pencil and your ruler. We have to divide it into three. And here we have to divide it into two. So we have male and female. Here, the male and female, both of them, they have the same gametes. So G, 50%, B, 50%, G, 50%, and B, we have 50%. So let's start. G times a G, it's a GG. 50 times 50 divided by 100, so it's 25%. So also the second, G times B, it's a GB. 50 times 50 divided by 100, so it's a 25 
percent and then b times the g it's bg but we start with the dominant so it's a gb 25 percent like the case in math expand the first with the first the first with the second and then the second with the first and the second with the second bb 50 times 50 divided by 100 so it's 25 percent let's now move to the table result table of result what do we have the table of results we have the following we have to draw the table and we have to put genotype and phenotype geno type and phenotype so the genotype we have a gg 25 percent and gb it's 25 plus 25 so it's 50 percent why b small b small bb it's 25 percent so here these two 25 and 50 they are 75 percent why did i add them gg gray is dominant so it's gray and gb the g is dominant so also it's gray except as in the case of homozygote and heterozygote so 75 percent they are gray while 25 percent they are black and here you have to write therefore the results are verified results are verified and here we are done with this part part five now to part six also we have the same exercise the same concept but here i want you to calculate the proportion how to calculate the proportion and then we have to perform the essential factor analysis to verify the results of crossing two f1 individuals so here how to calculate the proportion or the ratio first you have to take the smallest number we have 12 and we have 4 what is the smallest number it's the 4 in this case second divide all the numbers by this small number by the 4 in this case so I have divided the 12 by 4 and the 4 by 4 and then we had the results of the numbers that are in step number 2 and then set up the ratio or the proportion so move to the part A take the smallest number in this case it's the number 4 then divide all the numbers by it so 12 divided by 4 it's a 3 and for the black 4 divided by 4 it's 1 so add the numbers 3 plus 1 we get 4 so we have divide 3 divided by 4 it's 4 the gray so it's a 3 over 4 and 4 divided by 4 it's 1 so 1 over 4 it's for the black so the gray they are 3 over 4 and the black they are 1 over 4 I repeat this take the smallest number which is the 4 divide by the numbers so it were the black it's 4 over 4 so it's 1 for the gray it's a 12 over 4 so it's a 3 so add these 3 plus 1 it's 4 so 3 over 4 it's gray and 1 over 4 it's a black now let's move to the factorial analysis factorial analysis f1 cross with f1 so first we have to start with the phenotype phenotype okay so this is for the phenotype the male and the female both of them they are gray since f1 crossed with f1 both of them they are gray i repeat this question is only for the case of proportion we can solve with the, the same exercise proportion and percentage but i did it here in order to discover these ways okay so phenotype gray and gray genotype what do we have we have the gray it's a gb crossed with the female is also gb and then we have the gametes of symbol gamma so here we have what and here we have what and here we have female and here we have female so 
So here we have a G, and here we have B. So also here we have G, and here we have B. Wait a minute. We are working here in proportion and not in percentage. So 50%, it will become 1 over 2. And here 1 over 2. And here G is 1 over 2. And the B is 1 over 2. So you can know here, as a note, that 50% it becomes 1 over 2. 100% it becomes 1 in the proportion. And 25% it's 1 over 4. So as a note here, you have to know it that we have to know that proportion and difference. So let's move to the table of cross. Table of cross. So in the table of cross, we have to write, draw the table. Sure, using a pencil and the ruler. And we have to divide this box into two. So here we have male and here we have female. G, B, half, half, one over two, one over two. Also here G, B, one over two. 1 over 2. So here they ask me, do we have to put always the male up and the female down? No, it's not the case. You can choose whatever you know. But pay attention to the symbols. So GG, it's going to be GG. 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, it's math. Numerator by numerator, 1 times 1, it's 1 over. 2 times 2, denominator by denominator, it's 1 over 4. Then G times B, it's a GB. So 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, it's 1 over 4. Also here, GB, 1 over 4. And the last one, BB, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. It's 1 over 4. Let's move to the table of results. Table of results. So in the table of results, what do we have? We have the following. We have genotype. And we have the phenotype so in the genotype we have a gg 1 over 4 and we have also gb 1 over 2 and we have bb it's 1 over 4 so 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 it becomes 3 over 4 3 over 4 uh, 3 quarter so it's 3 quarter so here we have 3 over 4 they have gray color while 1 over 4 they have black so here 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 so 3 over 4 so they got 3 over 4 gray and 1 over 4 black and these are the ratio that we got therefore results are verified results are verified okay here you have to pay attention whenever we have as a note here whenever we have 50% in proportion it's 1 over 2 25% in the proportion it's 1 over 4 100% in the proportion it's 1 over 